Whoa, look at the weight coming off that boat. How to deal with it in a kayak. This week on Kayak Hacks. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, we cover kayak modifications, spin, and fly fishing. So poke that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Now, let's get on with it. Eventually, all of us are going to have to deal with a big boat wake, whether it comes off a large craft like this or a powerboat being driven too close to our kayak. To understand how to deal with it in open water, let's look at the physics of the situation. To understand waves, just look at the ocean. They all start out as swells, but then as they run up on the shallow shelf of the beach, they gain height and eventually tip over. This is what makes launching in the surf so challenging. I was on the Cape Fear River and watched a container ship come by and look at the wake it, it kicked out on the shallow shelf beyond this point on this island where I was sitting. In addition, you can see how it sucks the water out of the little bay I was sitting in and eventually goes and slams against the shore as you can see right now. Look at it! It's pounding the shore! If my kayak had been over there, those waves would have been really high and I bet I would have been tipped over. So you got to avoid shallow water. So in this example, um, paddling along the intercoastal, I see this big shrimp boat coming. I know I'm in two feet of water and safety is in deep water. Because in deep water, that wave doesn't have the chance to change from a, a swell to the breaker you see on the beach. So my approach here is to quickly paddle into deeper water. I'm at six feet, 10 feet, and then you got to turn the nose of your kayak towards the wake. Now, the one thing you don't want to do is be right next to the wake as it comes off the boat, because at that point, the wake has not had the chance to transition from a wake to a swell. And you can see here as I turn, I can deal with the gentle swells that have come off this very large boat, and I can navigate them safely. Here they come. Swell, swell. And this is especially critical in my boat because I don't have scupper holes, like many of you. Here's another example. A powerboat came right behind that other boat. I was already positioned in 10 feet of water, pointed my bow to the wake, and again, you can see that all I'm dealing with is gentle swells. Nothing that's going to cause me to tip over. What's your perspective in how to deal with boat wakes? I'd appreciate it if you'd throw them in the comments below because this is a problem we all face every time we kayak. 